I am Renaud Delancer and I will briefly present you Placer, that's the tool I'm developing in the Tango H2020 research project. So Placer is a model-based tool. It inputs some high-level model that tells how long task lasts and what is the structure of the task, etc. And with some level of abstraction, as for any modeling language. And it finds a mapping, so where do tasks execute and when they have to, st to start in order to minimize some global objective. So the global objective can be uh, the global runtime, the global energy consumption or both. And concretely, the input is divided into two main parts. We have the model of the software uh, in green on the slide, which is task based and includes the transmission. And in blue, you have the other input, which is the model of the hardware including the processing elements, such as FP, FPGA or CPU, and the buses. And in red, you have the output, which is the mapping. So where do tasks execute and when do they execute as well? Uh, notice that the mapping also mentioned when do transmission occur and on which bus they have to occur in case you have several possible bus. So here you have a more complete specification of Placer. So given the model of the software and the model of the hardware, it finds a mapping and a schedule such that uh, capacities are not exceeded, etc. So the model of the software is sometimes also referred to as the software metadata and includes tasks and transmission. So tasks can have several implementation. That's the interesting part. So Placer will then um, need to choose which implementation for each task uh, is to be used. Uh, also, implementation can have several targets, so you can have one task uh, with uh, one implementation targeting FPGA and another targeting CPU and the third one targeting FPGA again. That's absolutely possible. Transmission are defined mostly by the data size, um, so that the transmission duration uh, is computed by the formula you see on the slide, so the throughput multiplied by the data size and the latency. However, throughput and latency are properties of buses. Um, so the model of the hardware, so the hardware metadata includes the processing element, the FPGA um, and CPU with their own characteristics. Right? Typically, you can define the operating frequency of the CPU the number of gates and multiplier of the FPGA, etc. Basically, you are free to define any kind of cumulative resource for um, processor and uh, FPGA, etc. Um, and you have the buses, which define the throughput and latency and also the connectivity. Uh, the mapping includes the uh, where do tasks execute, what is the implementation, and what is the timing, transmission. I wrote it on buses and you also have the timing and you are we have some degree of freedom to express the objective function typically you can minimize the energy the timing or both in the multi-objective fashion this is the technical architecture of placer placer itself is a jar file so you need the java environment to run it it inputs a single json file and has some command line parameter and it generates everything it's all put into a JSON file, and there is no other configuration, etc., to consider here. The input file includes the model of the hardware, the software, the mapping goal, and the additional constraints. The command line defines mostly search parameters such as a time limit and the kind of search engine you want to use, search procedure. You can use CP, pure CP, or LNS procedure, for instance. And the output is the mapping. So everything is defined in JSON format for simplicity and ease of integration. As already said, Placer comes as a command line tool with JSON input and output formats. We are currently developing a graphical front end for Placer. Uh, with this front end, we will be able to draw uh, software and hardware model. Uh, with uh, the, the mouse and here you can see our uh, current prototype frontend that's developed based on the OPO uh, toolbox and here you see uh, in the middle of the window a software model with uh, uh, 
the tasks and the transmission control with red lines. So as we don't yet have in the graphical frontend, I will illustrate Placer on a case study that's called the Acroscan uh, with uh, slides and using the JSON file format. Okay, so the Acroscan uh, is a software with a large number of tasks. There are roughly 50 tasks and a large number of transmissions. You see the software model illustrated on the right side of these slides. Okay, um, so to make it clear, the, the, the red tasks uh, that you see on, um, really on the right should be executed four times. So there is a big fork uh, when it, it starts to be red and there is a big merge when the, the red ends. Okay, so it's four times can be executed in parallel. Uh, that's an interesting point for Placer. And the hardware is made of four identical CPU cores and there is a single bus connecting them all. So the parallelization seems trivial in this case. There is a, a very intuitive way of uh, parallelizing this on four cores. So um, let's uh, ask Placer to minimize the mix pan. And surprisingly, Placer does not uh, parallelize the intuitive way. As you can see, there are four cores, one, core one, two, three, and four. And there are tasks uh, called digit three, blah, 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 and digit four, blah, 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 on core one. It means that uh, the, the, out of the four uh, instances of the red uh, tasks, there are tasks from the, 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 the stream three and from the stream four that are located on core one. Okay, so there is no an intuitive way of realizing the the application chosen by Placer. So uh, it's very strange. Um, uh, so basically, we, are not, we might not be happy with this parallelization. So what we can do is to add a constraint to Placer, ask him, OK, you have a way of parallelizing the application that is intuitive, and I want you to do that. Okay. So typically, here what we can do is specify a constraint that all uh, digit x tasks, okay, uh, with x being uh, in range one and four, should be executed on the same processing element. Okay, so everything related to the first digit should be on uh, the same processing element. Everything related to digit two should be also located on the same processing element, which can, of course, be different from the task from digit one. Okay, Placer is still free to choose. So we add these four constraints, forcing Placer to uh, use the more intuitive parallelization. And what we get is that uh, Placer indeed um, finds a schedule and placement that matches this additional constraint. Huh? On core one, uh, we have all tasks related to digit four. On core two, all tasks related to digit three, and so on. Um, but the schedule is slightly longer in this case, by 2.6%. So it's not huge, it's not very large uh, slowdown. But in the logics of Placer, it's slower. So um, we are quite happy that Placer does, does indeed do its job properly. Mm -hmm. If you want to know more about Placer, first, where is Placer? Placer is on the on GitHub. It's open source. In the, it's in the Tango project repository on GitHub. Um, the release file is a big zip file you will find on GitHub as well. It includes a lot of documentation. So you have a reference for the input JSON format, which is quite uh, detailed. Uh, you have some command line argument. Uh, help which, which you can help by which you can have by calling placer with the help parameter and but basically everything you need to use placer is included in the zip file and uh, we're very proud to know that we've made the beta 2 release in january 2018 and feel free to contact me on the email address here below